Hi everyone, welcome back to Cafe Scotty. All new episodes are waiting, so please check it out. Happy Friday, everyone. Hi everyone, welcome back to Cafe Scotty. So this time I would love to uh, introduce myself a little more. I mean, I already did enough. So this time I'm gonna make it short. Like uh, I would love to introduce myself again for shorter, for one. So hope one bit vi one video. I mean one vlog. So hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm a Japanese gay man who has been to United States uh, five times by now in the past. Uh, and the uh, last time was, last time there was like back in 2012. So it's been seven years. So it's been really, really long time, but I've been there five times by now. And uh, I've been to United States five times, but uh, as for New York, I've been there three times by now so New York City is like my second hometown to me and uh, well I miss there a lot uh, I miss everything I miss the smell culture people my friends uh, building every view park everything and uh, well they accepted who I was no matter what and uh, it didn't matter that I was a gamer or if I had autism like Asperger's or I had mental health situation like PTSD from my trauma from past. So uh, they saw me as Scotty and uh, it, it was not like crazy person when I saw their eyes and the heart, you know what I mean? So. Uh, ah yeah, yeah, you could be anyone, you could be yourself in New York City, like I could be myself, I could be a uh, real natural version of myself, so yes, I miss New York City a lot, and uh, it's second hometown, and uh, it's like, I count there as my second hometown, but uh, also, um, it's like my real hometown to me, instead of uh, Fukuoka, Japan, where is my real hometown, you know what I mean? Anyways, uh, like I said before, uh, I had a possibility for gay marriage in United States before, but uh, I had to turn it down because uh, of law situation. Uh, I mean, it was, it could take so many years to take my mom there, but uh, I want to take care of her and I want to be there for her so and uh, he agreed with me and he wanted that way too so my ex was really sweet or sweet and uh, uh, we were going to be together but we gave up on it because we don't have gay marriage in Japan, in Japan at all so um, well it was hard but uh, right now um, including him um, I'm seeing what happens with two ex well, friends, uh, we are not in relationships. Uh, I mean, uh, both guys and I are friends and seeing what happens. So hopefully one of them are actually uh, my future husband, you know what I mean? And uh, family and friends uh, mean a lot to me. So um, long story for short, uh, we are tiny family from beginning and uh, complicated family. So. And uh, also, when I used to have my father, actually, sh he was not there for me or my mom at all. So he abused us by domestic violence. So we left him many years ago, like back in 2006. And uh, now we have peace, so it's a good thing. But uh, I, d I have dreamed of uh, finding someone special to share life with. And uh, it's really, I'm really, really hopeful, hopeful, hopeful hopeless romantic person and uh, I want to share life with someone special called the one and also um, I want to include, include my mom as she was not there no matter what um, when people had discrimination for me because of the dis dis disability, autism, Asperger's, PTSD and uh, more so um, yes I want to take care of 
my house, especially she has bad health situation, so I want to take care of her. But so you know, she has pretty hard life too, so she deserves a real good family life. You know what I mean? So one happy family. So I want to include her if I find someone special like future partner or future husband. So yes, I want to include her. And uh, if it's possible, like if my future partner or husband and I are on the same page, then I would love to raise children. And uh, if not, I even through it's possible to have children, I still want to adopt a, adopt a, um, some few dogs because I love dogs. And uh, dogs are friends and family, so I want to raise big, one big happy family, you know what I mean? So it's my dream. And I hope it's gonna happen in the near future. So yeah, more than people think, I mean less than people think uh, we don't have gay rights in Japan, sadly, but uh, um, let's see. Um, I feel comfortable with some culture here and I love culture here too, of course, because I'm from here, but uh, to be honest, United States, especially New York, is more like, more like my real hometown instead. So I feel more comfortable there. And uh, well, since we don't have gay marriage here, I cannot have real families. So if I want to get married, I have to move to foreign country like United States or Canada, Canada or somewhere like that. So. Um, and also, I usually don't have things in common with Japanese guys, so I usually have find things in common with foreign guys, so maybe uh, I'm gonna get married uh, with my future husband in United States or somewhere foreign country. Anyways, thanks for checking this out. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. See you later. Bye.